Hey guys, welcome back. So in the last tutorial we had finished up by creating our first win condition, which ended with our player going up in a big ball of fire. Not exactly how we wanted the level to end, but that's what we're going to fix today. So today I'm going to show you guys how you can create a new level and give your player a whole new world to explore. Alright, so we're going to start by right clicking here in the content browser. And I don't know if you guys have been paying attention, but I've been making these folders for every little um, asset we've been creating. And we're going to make another one uh, right up here. So when you right click all the way up at the top, it says new folder. And this is going to hold our levels. And this just keeps your blueprints organized so you don't have them flying all over the place and they're easier to find. So we're going to double click here in levels. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is save this current map that we have. So we can just go up here to File and say Save Current As. And we will call this our first level. And I'm going to make sure I put this in the folder that we just created. Here. Save. See, now we have this little thing that says, it's this little orange uh, blueprint asset, and it says first level. Now what we're going to do is right click in here and create a new level. And we'll call this second level. Okay, and we're going to double click on our second level and just say yes, save selected and you see it's completely black because there's nothing in here. So the first thing I'm going to do just so we can see is I'm going to go over here to lights and I'm just going to put in a directional light right here just drag it anywhere and then I'm going to go to basic and drag in a cube and we will just set this to zero 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 and we will scale this up 100 by 100 and then I'm going to go and look for something called atmospheric fog and we'll drag this into the world and there you go so now we have a little floor for our player to run around on and the last thing I'm going to do is pull in a player start that's this thing right here. And that's just going to make us, um, we'll tell the game engine where to spawn our player when we open up this level. And it really doesn't matter where you put it. I'm just throwing it in here. Okay. And that's going to be all that we're going to do in this level for now. So I'm going to hop back into our first level. So we'll double click here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our win conditions and I'm going to create a custom event in here and you can do that by right clicking in the content browser and typing in custom and we're going to say new world and a custom event is basically Anything that Unreal doesn't have a standard event for, like begin play, or on overlap, or on hit, or take damage, and you want to script some logic off of something personal for you, you can create what's called a custom event, just like I did here. And that's what we're going to do to send our player to the new world. So we're going to drag off of here and just say open level. And then it asks you for a level name, and you have to type in exactly what you called the level, which is second level. And this is case sensitive, guys, so make sure that the you have everything capitalized exactly how you named your level before. All right. So now that we have that completed, if we look over here, we'll go into our widget. If you guys remember the widget here in this add score function, we were just spawning this explosion 
we don't really want that so we're going to delete that and delete this and what we want to do now is call our win conditions custom event so if you just type in call you see new world comes up so if we have one we want to call new world so we'll compile and save this and we will minimize and we'll hit play and now I will go around and collect our coins and you see it's now transitioned us to this second level now I didn't set anything up in here so we don't have a player character we can't really move around and there's obviously nothing in here but we will take care of all of that in a later tutorial. But that's the basics of how you can go from one level to another. Alright guys, I hope that was helpful, and if it was, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more tutorials. Alright, see you guys later.